Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. It's good to be in the house of the Lord on this yes. morning, this yes. third Sunday in February 2023. The Lord is good. Amen. And we give him glory for all things in his sweet name. Amen. We thank God for our pastor. Amen. And his wife. Pastor Harold and Sister Sandra Edwards, and we are praying for them. Yes, yes. That the yes. Lord will strengthen them during this time. We thank Ooh. God for Minister Emmanuel Gray, Minister Victor Logan, and Minister Arnold Matthews, our deacons' ministry, our deacon essence ministry, the fell our nation to all of the Lord's people and those of you who are looking, amen, and viewing us by way of Facebook Live. We thank God for you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Our men's choir is going to come and take us further in the Lord's service and let us be active participants in this time of worship and praise in Jesus' name. Just a, a closer walk with thee. Granted Jesus if you please, daily walking close to thee, oh Lord, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. world of toils and snares. Yes, I feel, Lord, just who cares. Daily walking close to thee. Oh, Lord, let it be. But dear Lord, let it be oh, when the feeble life is over. Time for me won't be no more. Daily walking close to thee. Oh Lord, let it be a closer walk with thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, if you please. Walking close to thee, O Lord, as I walk, a closer walk with thee, just a closer walk with thee, grant it, Jesus, if you please. With thee, just a closer walk with thee, just a closer walk with thee, just a closer walk with thee, and my Jesus, if you please, just a closer walk with thee, just a closer walk with thee, just a closer walk with thee. Oh Lord, let it be a closer walk with thee. Yes,
I believe I run on home. Be. If I run on, see what the be. If I pray on, see what the be. If I shine on, see what the end be. You let me tell you, Charlie Gray, I got a long way to go. Oh yeah, way up in there for me. Started on the journey long time ago. Ever since that day, I had a to go. Too close now, I can't turn around. I got a witness if I get down, if I run on. I'm gonna shout off. See what the end's gonna be. I'm just gonna sing off. See what the end's gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna love on. See what the end's gonna be. Listen at this, y'all. When I get to yes. heaven, Hallelujah. I'm gonna sing and shout. Hallelujah. There'll be nobody there. Hallelujah. Sit down to put me out. Hallelujah. I meet my loving mother Hallelujah. and my father too. We'll just shout and pray the whole day through. I believe I run on. Think I'm gonna love on. See what the end's gonna be. I'm gonna pray on. See what the end's gonna be. You let me tell you, Johnny Prayer. I got a oh, way up there, way up in there. Listen at this, y'all. But when I get to heaven, I'm gonna sing and shout. There'll be nobody there. Sit down, put me out. I meet my loving mother, my father and brothers too. We'll just praise and sing. Glory, hallelujah. We gotta run on. Just love on. See what the end's gonna be. Listen to this one more time. Uh, when we get to heaven, Hallelujah. Jesus be round the throne. Hallelujah. We'll praise inside our Father. Hallelujah. We'll all be on home. Hallelujah. We'll have to worry about no more sickness. Hallelujah. No sin will be there too. Hallelujah. We'll love each other like Hallelujah. our Father want us to. I run on. See what the end's gonna be. Think I pray on. See what the end's gonna be. I'm just gonna shine on. See what the end's gonna be. I'm gonna love on. See what the end's gonna be. Good morning, Fairlong. Let us bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, we come before you this day in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Father. We ask first, Father, we're gonna ask you that you comfort our pastor and his wife this day over their tragic loss that they had yesterday. And we want to thank you now for this offering that we have received and ask that you put it to good use and bless those who gave and those who wouldn't, wouldn't give today, but one had all intention to do so. In Jesus' name, we, we thank you and we raise it up to you now, Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. When I get to heaven, I'm going to sing and shout. There'll be nobody there. Sit me down and put me out. I have my long white robe. Oh, glory to. We all be there singing, praising God 
with the blue He died on all of Sing on. You let me tell you, God is praying. I got a way up in the hell of me. Listen to that. 
says, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. God saw fit for us to see another day, not because of something that we did so good or glorious, only because of his grace and mercy that abound upon us that we were allowed to see another day. And all we can do in return is give him the praises and give him the glory that he's deserving of because he's worthy of all praises and all glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We will get started this morning with our congregational hymn. Every voice and sing, 
We ask that you will continue standing for our scripture reading, which will be coming from the book of Psalms, the 150th division of Psalms, the last book in Psalms. Give you a chance to get there. And it reads, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmaments of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Yes. Praise him with the tremble and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbal. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I think I'll read that last verse again. Let everything yes. that has breath mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Let the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. I will praise the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And I will be taken to the throne of grace. Most holy and everlasting Father, thou art God. Lord, it's again and another time that you have allowed us, your children, into your house of worship, Lord. Just to be able to lift up praises into your holy name, Father God. And for this, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for our last night lying down and for touching us so early this morning with the finger of love. Just allowing the blood to run warm through our veins one more time, Father God. Lord, we know it was you and only you that allowed that to happen. And we just want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for allowing us just to gather in this congregation today, Father God. Just to receive your word, Father God. For your word is food for the soul, Father God. We ask that, Father God, you would take us, Father God, and just use us as you see fit according to your will, Father God, that we may walk that straight and narrow, Father God. Lord, we ask, Father God, that you would continue, Father God, just to bless this church family as a whole, Father God. Bless us in unity, the unity that will give us the strength that we need in your Son, Jesus Christ, Father God. And Lord, we ask, Father God, that you bless those that may be on the way here today to receive your word. Ask you to grant them safe passage, Father God. In your son Jesus' name we pray, Father God. And Lord, we ask, Father God, that when we too must swap time with eternity, Father God. Hang up these dusty garments, Father God. Stick our swords in the sand. Ask that you will give us a resting place somewhere in your kingdom where our weary souls may be at rest and we may praise your name forever world and hear those words from your lips. Well done. Well done, that good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you rule over many. Lord, these and all blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Let us all say amen, amen, amen. 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 Now we will have a moment in black history. Uh, we're supposed to be coming from one hour youth. Miss London Elwes, but she was under the weather. So I think her mother, see her, Miss Katrina Elwes was supposed to step in for her. She's not here neither. We're gonna have Sister Deaton to do that moment in black history. Amen. Amen. Good morning. morning. Thank you all for coming out. Um, we're so delighted and happy to have Sister Thomas with us today. Give her a hand. Amen. Amen. And as a part of our uh, education ministry, we decided this year that we would honor and uh, pay tribute to our own trailblazers within the church. Amen. And um, on first Sunday, we did Sister Viola Bell 
and um, second Sunday we did Pastor Edwards, and today we're gonna um, trail, but we're gonna do Sister Thomas, who is one of our amazing trailblazer. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Thomas, Dr. Priscilla Thomas, was a commissioner in Ch Chatham County, Georgia, a champion in our area, local youth, and Savannah native. She was married. She's married to Deacon. Ta Ta I'm sorry. Deacon Nathaniel Thomas, they have one daughter and one grandson. In 1990, Dr. Thomas was first elect to serve as a commissioner in Chatham County. During her venture, she became a chairman pro tem and later in the first minority, later she was the first minority and female vice chairman. Dr. Thomas graduated from Tompkin High School she holds a BS degree in elementary education from Savannah State College, a master degree in education and administrative supervision from Bradley University, and a PhD in psychology and education administration from the University of North Carolina. She retired as a principal, she retired as a principal of Haven Elementary School after 30 years of education. When she was elected to serve as a commissioner in 1990, she continued to use her passion for young people to provide entertaining and enlightening activities for them, including the Chatham County Youth Commissioners and some of Bonanza Partnership. Dr. Thomas was a very, very active member of Fairlawn Baptist Church. I'm a witness because I work with her on quite a bit of occasions and events that we had right here. She's, she was a part of Fairlawn's 100 year centennial celebration. Garden City even named a local street um, Priscilla Way in her honor. Yeah. This has been a moment in black history. I'm Beverly Deep and I'm filling in for London Edwards. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Deaton, for that moment in black history. I just want to mention that uh, Sister Thomas has truly been a trailblazer for this church and for this community. And we are happy to have her in the house today, her and with her husband, Deacon Thomas, and their daughter, Deborah Thomas. I just want to give a little short moment in black history that Deborah Thomas used to be my Sunday school teacher when I was a lad in the church. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now we will turn the service into the hands of our pastor. Amen. Coming from Psalms 23, 
Street, 23rd song, very familiar. Uh, first for a lot of people, they they know that 23rd song, they don't know anything else, right? Amen. 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 23rd song, the Lord is my shepherd and I should not want. He makes me lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name. Say, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I feel no evil. Thou with me, thou rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou prayer the table for me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with, with oil, my cups running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 If I was to use a topic, I would use a topic. Who, who, who is your shepherd? Who is your shepherd? All right, preacher. Yes, sir. You know, everybody that says Lord don't belong to the Lord. Hmm. You know, I remember when I was young coming up in the church and I used to hear the preacher always say that we all, we all the children of God. And when I began to understand and read and realize we all the image of God and we not all the children of God. Amen. Because Romans 8 9 says, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, is not one of his. Amen. And so once you be born again and receive the gift of God, then you can be a child of God. Uh -huh. And that's why David, I like what he's, he, he made this declaration, said the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. He wasn't being selfish. He was only speaking for what he knew about God. Uh -huh. He knew that God was his shepherd. Yes. Because when he looked back over his life and knowing where God bought him from. Oh, yeah. And what God, how God delivered him through a whole lot of walls and difficult times in his life, he knew it was God's hand was carrying him. And that's why he can look around, even though things that he did wrong uh, against God, but God forgave him. And that's why he can say, I can look and say, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, Everybody can't say, the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. If you don't have a relationship with God, he can't be your shepherd. Amen. If you have it not born again, he cannot be your shepherd. So you can call him your shepherd all day long. But when that day come, he said, those knew my voice. And they hear when I call. And I like what he says. He makes me lie down in grief, Pastor. And leads me beside the still water. When I think about green pastor, he leads them where they can the sheep can feed. Yes, yes. Still water is like a pond. It's quiet while they're drinking their water. Uh -huh. yeah. It's uh -huh. not like a wild, a wild river running wild. Amen. So he he take care of his his flops, just as he take care of you and I. Yeah. If we only just trust him, like like the sheep trust him, we'll be better off people suited for God being his people. But we, we want to do things in our way. And I like where uh, he said, uh, he restores my soul, leave me in the path of righteousness. It can't be nothing but righteous when you fall in God. Yeah, yeah. In this verse right here, one of my, uh, one of my dear friends, he always testified when he come to uh, prayer service. He said, uh, this is my testimony. He said, yeah, you know I walk. He said, yeah, that's all I'm going to say, Rev. That's all I'm going to stop right there. Yea, do I walk? And I went to digging and into that. I said, wonder why he always stopped right there. He said, Yea, do I walk? And I went to digging and say, the valley of shadow of death. I will not feel no evil thou is with me. I understand what he's saying. He knows that God is with him. Amen. He known that he had overcome death. 
He knowing that Psalm 34, 7, angels kept all around him. So why he worried about going through the valley of death? Because he know the angel of God going to be in the death with him. Yeah, yeah. So I can understand what he's saying. I walk through the shadow of death and not feel no evil. Perfect love casts away fear. When you have perfect love in God, it casts away all fear because you are trusting in God in everything. Yeah. And all your heart, mind, and soul, you are trusting God. Yeah. And that way you can walk through the valley of shadow of death and feel no evil because if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, oh, yeah. if you really trust God, yeah. you say, Lord, I'm going through the valley because I know you got death in your hand and I know the angels are coming all around me. I'm going to walk if you just hold God's unchanging hand. Yeah. And everything will be all right. Yes, it will. See, until you come and overcome death, you cannot walk. Until you be born again, you cannot walk. Until you accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, you always going to have that fear of death. Yeah. So many people are so afraid of dying. Mm. So afraid. They, 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 they're more afraid of dying than living. Amen. Because they, as soon as the doctors say you got a bad case of cancer or something, and the first thing you're thinking about, oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm going to die. Lord, when I'm going to die? Lord, how many more long you will let me live? When you should just go on and live your life. Yeah. So many people said, I'm living and can hardly wait to see Jesus. Amen. Amen. I hear them sing that song saying, I, I can't hardly wait to see his face. Yeah, yeah. I'm living and I'm living to see Jesus. So, if that's the case, why when the doctor said you got a month or two months, you scared of death? That tells me you have not overcome death. That tells me you're not really ready to see Jesus. Nobody racing to die, but you ought to be able to the point that you can accept death with season and joy, knowing that you're going to be with Jesus. Yes, sir. Somebody who you're working hard to see, somebody you're laboring for. It took me a while to get to the point that I overcome death. It doesn't matter to me anymore. Because God has gave me comfort in my heart that if I should leave this world, I will be with him. Amen. He said, as if in the body of present with the Lord, so I don't mind walking through the valley of the shadow of my death. I don't mind taking my life and putting it in his hand. I don't mind just trusting God with everything I got. Yeah. Because I know that I'm going to have eternal life when I get there. I know everything's going to be, right. everything's going to be all right. Amen. 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 So I don't worry about when I lay down at night, <coughs> what's going to happen. When I lay down, I sleep <coughs> like a baby. Yeah, yeah. I don't worry about it. Yeah. I sleep so well, sometimes my wife tell me you've been snowing. I said, because I was tired, the body was tired. <laughs> And wasn't worried about nothing. I just went on to sleep. Yeah. That's the closest death that you're ever going to get when you go to sleep anyway. People can walk all around you and talk all You don't hear nothing because you oh, sleep. Lord, Lord. Tell it now. But that death sleep, you don't wake up to this earth no more. You wake up with, with Christ. Yeah. We say, well, how can you say that? He said, if you abide in my word, my word abide in me. So wherever he at, you there with him. Where is he at? Sitting in the right hand of the Father. Yeah. Because you are in Christ. Yeah. So many people don't believe that, but you are already in Christ when you accept him. And there's nothing about, none of us is righteous. None of us. And I like what he says. A pair of the table before me in the presence of my enemy. And knowing that my head with all my cups is running over. <coughs> I like that part because no right there. I like that part because I think about Samuel. When God told Samuel to go to Jesse's house and uh know that David. I think about that all when he pulled it over David's head. 
and he was being anointed. And I think about that precious oil that when Samuel poured on him, he was, he was anointed with the grace of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then he said, surely in goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Why would you want to serve God? Why would you want to chose him? He said, mercy, surely, goodness and mercy <coughs> shall follow me all, all the days of my life. Yes, Lord. All the days of my life. Amen. Goodness, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Well. And I shall, it shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. David said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper than dwell in a tent of wickedness. Yes. So it doesn't matter if you're being a, a doorkeeper. Hmm. It's better than dwelling in a tent of wickedness. So I, I, today I'm asking, could you truly say that the Lord is your shepherd? Oh, Lord. Have you truly did what all it took? The self God? When he said, I comfort you. But that means that we have a, 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 a relationship. And he's comforting me. Like years ago, my wife said, I feel safe in your arms. So we ought to feel safe when Jesus said, I comfort you. You ought to feel safe. You ought to come to the point to worry about nothing. Psalm 34, taste and see that the Lord is good. Take a chance, step out and taste. You know how sometimes your wife come in there and say, taste this here? <laughs> and you say, that's good. But taste the word of God and see if that's good. Oh yeah. When you taste it, digest it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let it dwell in you deeply in your heart. That it never departs from your heart, knowing that this is the word of God yes. that will carry me through our eternity. Yes. This is all I need is the word of God. Yes. This is all I need to know that I am in right fellowship with God. Yes. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I have bad thoughts in my head. Come on, preacher. But the thing about it is I always say you can't stop the bird from flying over your head but you can stop it from nesting. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. See, when he nests, he plant that seed in there and now if you act on that seed, you're going to find yourself doing some things that you shouldn't be doing. Oh, yeah. So you got to bring that flesh and sit on subjection. It sounds good. A lot of things coming back in your mind. Well, that sounds real good. But don't try it. That's a trap. The card man makes things look so beautiful for you. Even temptation to a woman or man, it looks so tempting. Don't take the bite. Amen. Don't take the bait. It looks tempting. Even money looks tempting to some people. They won't miss this here. Maybe I just get about a couple hundred dollars. They may not miss it, but somebody saw you. And that was God. Yes. He sees all things. Yes. And I'm going to tell you today that don't ever think that you're getting a buy away with anything. anything. Not nothing. God sees everything. Yeah. It took me a while to say, how could, how could he see everything? Because he is God. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. He sees everything. Yeah. He knows everything. He even know you when you was in your mother's wombs. He knew what your mama was going to name you. He knew everything. He know the day you're going to born. He know the day you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. He know how you're going to die. Yeah. We don't know all those things. No. But we know one thing. If we live right, we will have eternal life. Yeah. With God. So take the walk through that valley. Quit being afraid about What's going to happen to you? I love to hear him song that song. Somebody in the valley, Lord, needs you. So you know what? If you're in the valley, call up on Jesus. 
He'll live you out of the back. Yes, he will. Just call him. Yes. All you got to do is trust God. Trust him. And I came to a point in my life, I said, you know, I don't <coughs> worry about what people feel or what people think. I used to have a problem worrying about what people think of me or what people say about me. I had a problem with that. Until I heard Paul say, it's a very small thing, what people think of me. But it was God think. And it made me overcome some of that trying to, to, to please people. Trying to do this right for them to like me. It doesn't matter if they like me or not. Now, as long as God loves me, as long as God likes me, I'm all right. I may lose a handful of friends, but I gain a greater friend in Jesus. But I was to have a greater friend in Jesus. So don't worry about your friends. Don't worry about who don't like you. Don't worry about that. You just worry about how can I please God? And how can I walk in holiness? How can I walk up right? Yes, yes. And that's what counts. Yes. Trying to live in holiness, trying to please God. When you try to please your friend, your friend ain't got no hell or heaven to put you in. All right. All right. Suppose you try to please Johnny. And you die and go to hell, and after a while, Johnny gets saved and go to heaven. Right. You will be a fool. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Uh -huh. It can happen that way. Yes, sir. You hang out there trying to please Johnny or do what Johnny want to do, and after a while, you, you die and end up in hell, and Johnny says, I'm going to get saved. <laughs> so many of us are here trying to please people. Amen. Why can't we please God? Why it's so hard? You know, God did, I'm about to close. God have did everything. 99 for sin. You say, why he just did 99 for sin? Why he didn't do the whole hundred? He did 99 for sin because he left something for you to do. Yes, yes. That one thing for you to do is make a choice. Yes, yes. Amen. If he had did 100% you wouldn't have free choice. You wouldn't have free will. So he did 99% left that 1% for you to do. And that's for you to believe and trust God. Accept him for a personal savior. 1% Why is it so hard for him just to do that, just that 1%? Why? He did everything else. 99 that one percent, we just can't do it. Most of us can't do it because we're looking for a better deal. I'm here to tell you, if you find a better deal in Jesus, keep it for yourself. I don't want it. Because I know there's not a better deal out there. That one percent, it makes a difference. Just go ahead on and say, Lord, I surrender. I want to just take that one percent, Lord, and just trust you. Mm -hmm. I want to walk with you. I want to call you my very own. Mm -hmm. I want to call you my shepherd. Yeah. When people say, who you, I'm talking to my shepherd because the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. And I shall not want. Yeah. You have to want. Living for 19, I will apply all your needs to his riches and glory. So why, why are we worrying about it? Why are we worried? Because the flesh want you to worry. It wants you to stress yourself out. Before you know it, you got a heart attack, you got nerve problems, you're taking all kinds of pills, trying to get right. But you can just say, Lord, I heard you say, cast all my care upon you because you care for me, Lord. I'm going to cast all my care upon you because you said that you care for me. Yeah. You trust God to cast all you care for. And I guarantee you will have to be taking all these pills and, and all the stuff, all these drugs because you are stressed out. Because you're trying to carry that heavy load. You ever try to carry a load heavier than you? It's, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. 
Yes. So if you drop that load and say, Lord, you carry the load for me. That's all we got to do. Maybe you're here today, this morning. Stand to your feet. Maybe you're here today and you, you are still holding on that 1%. And you want to give up that 1% by saying, Lord, I surrender. Maybe you don't know who your, who your shepherd is. And you need to see Jesus Christ for a personal saving to be saved. You can come down and we'll pray with you. If you're looking for a church home, we'll be glad to accept you in. We'll just be one. Will there be one? I guess we all on our way to heaven. Eh? But in case, in case you missed the boat, you can't blame Jesus because he made a way for you when he went to Calvary. So it's your choice to accept Jesus for your personal Savior. All is well with that song. Elder take us home. Oh, Jesus knows all about our struggles. Oh, and he will guide us till the day is done. Oh, there's not a friend like the Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for your kind presence with us this morning. We thank you for the preaching of the word of God, for the songs that have been sung, the prayers that have been prayed. Now, Lord, we pray, oh God, that you will bless, oh God, our pastor and sister Sandra in the name of Jesus. Yes. During the time of bereavement, oh God, give grace and strength to that family in a special way, we pray. We also pray for the Dilworth family that you will continue to bless Sister Linda. Oh, God, and those children in that family, in yeah. the name of the Lord. And all those who are going through a time of bereavement, a time of struggle, a time of adversity. We thank you, Lord, for bringing Dr. Priscilla Thomas back in the service today, yeah. her husband and family. We give you praise for that. Now, Lord, as we depart from this place, but not your divine presence, go with us and stand by us, preserve us in your Holy Spirit until you come again. These blessings we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the people of God sang together. Amen. Amen. Amen.